Hi, and welcome back to the Drawing Database. Professor Mark Leone here, and today we look at the drawings and spend a little time with Henri Matisse, a French artist, a post impressionist, fauve artist, painter, sculptor, printmaker, and one of the giants of uh, late 19th and uh, 20th century art, up there with his contemporary Pablo Picasso. And um, so, <clears throat> Matisse is certainly an important figure, and we'll take a look at a few of his drawings today to get your bearings uh, with his work. Uh, he was born in 1869 and died in 1954. So um, we see now in Matisse, in this particular drawing, we see um, him with a um, quite a bit looser style, charcoal here, and um, uh, a little bit of tonality we see down in through here, right, uh, my pen's not quite working, I'm sorry about that. Um, but we see uh, some uh, smeared kind of tonality, almost like an additive subtractive drawing. And then of course we see um, the, the uh, charcoal back on top of the uh, drawing in through here. And uh, we see him with a much more relaxed, uh, later career uh, type of uh, uh, drawing with in terms of scale and proportion and um, in terms of uh, uh, just the overall uh, look and feel of the composition this is uh, much more looser and certainly taking more imaginative and creative liberties uh, with the drawing technique we're moving ever so closer to cubism and abstraction uh, through uh, artists certainly like Matisse even though throughout his career he was certainly still wedded to representational uh, uh, drawing and painting or at least using figures. In this Matisse we have a, a very laxed contour uh, line drawing uh, probably uh, in graphite of uh, what looks to be a young woman. Notice that all pretense of academic rendering are completely taken away and the drawing uh, is reduced to just a series of uh, very fine pointed tipped lines just to indicate enough of the expressive qualities of the individual even the nose um, is very simplified, the lips and of course the uh, eyes in through here. So we get classic Matisse. Also, <clears throat> uh, in terms of uh, contemporary stylings, it looks to be similar to some of Picasso's line work. So certainly they riffed off one another uh, quite a bit in terms of their ideas, riffing, not ripping off, but riffing uh, against one another's uh, idea. So a very simplified drawing probably from life of uh, a line work and this kind of foreshadows also Matisse. Matisse's use of uh, drawing with uh, a large bamboo pole which a piece of charcoal stick was attached to for longer more expressive kinds of elegant uh, line quality. You can you can really kind of con consider this work poetry with with line. In this drawing we have a figure study against a mirror. So we have a much more simplified again uh, approach, a more grade down kind of approach, a softening of uh, edges and a blurring and a blending of uh, edges here. But we still have some actually really good line weight variation uh, within the, the model and the reflectivity against the mirror is really fascinating. The uh, very painterly type of feeling into the drawing, beautiful composition. Uh, Matisse always maintains an excellent sense uh, and a range of composing elements against one another. And so the room feels alive, it feels natural, but it's really designed elegantly to continue to move our eye back across and back into the composition. So it really works masterfully well, even though the drawing is great, greatly, greatly simplified. Here we see Matisse now probably sometime in the 40s, um, uh, advancing in age, but yet no less productive. And we see a reductive uh, style emerging of simplified uh, linear forms for drawings and frescoes and also tile work for chapels. And we see the figure greatly reduced now into that classic sort of uh, elegant contour uh, line weight that um, again that was original and fresh and th these could be transferred into um, so certainly shaped cutouts, color cutouts as well. He, he was quite well known for that again signified a kind of flatness 
and a move into and a way to work around and with also cubism and then you can think of the uh, the work of Stuart Davis a American abstractionist um, as well as uh, Matisse foreshadows, for, for, excuse me, foreshadows that uh, as well. Notice again the long bamboo pole that he uses to draw with, and we have a charcoal stick applied probably through tape uh, onto the bamboo pole so he can extend himself, which looks to be about oh, six feet or so uh, away from the uh, drawing board. Notice how large the drawing board is, probably about six feet. Uh, in height and four, four or five feet across to get a sense of a uh, nice play. So, you know, gesture can be done in many ways. And in, in this sense, this contour lining is controlled by a slight um, lack of control by the length of the drawing apparatus. Very direct contour line drawing. Notice the leaning figure as she leans in, right, with the box. So she's tilting herself towards us. We see the relaxed, direct contouring, a very aggressive approach with little variation and a very direct, uh, visceral, relaxed kind of uh, quality to that. Compare this a little bit to the drawings of Egon Schiele. So <clears throat> for some of you, it might be too much of a reduction and too uh, greatly simplified, but you can't get to this point without going through um, a great bit of academic training. As a matter of fact, you you can certainly try, but it won't hold together. What makes the drawing hold together is the understructure, undergirding that is that is um, generally loosened up, <clears throat> that is uh, pushed aside for expressive uh, mark making. I mean, uh, the the lovely uh, indication of the wicker chair. The stylings of the chair are indicated just slightly. The turning of the forms in through here, the uh, top, the slight change of the, the breast forms in through there work, work quite nicely. Here we have the beautiful uh, back of a female form sitting down, indicated with just a minor bit of line, but notice the gesture pulling us through here, right? We have the bottom part of the line being then a leg and foreshadow. Uh, foreshadowing coming back and so the drawing is very reductive and minimal and reduced to an elegant series of just enough to give us some dimensionality so what's important this is this is an overlap this is an overlap this is slightly an overlap this is an overlap here to indicate the leg coming in through <clears throat> there is no need for the spine in his drawing it works enough it would be roughly in through here with the scapulae running as she uh, running up higher as she tilts her shoulders up very sensitively and then we have some overlap with the uh, st hair stylings into here then the back of the head so it's all underneath this is a really a masterful job I think of um, really simplifying the forms down into a contour line essence and then the location uh, in an asymmetrical way helps to bring about the final um, composition and finish of the drawing. Here we see a panel drawing by Matisse where we get into uh, probably more of an influence by Picasso with some cubism and planar types of analysis. We get into more flatter structure. Think back to Cezanne a little bit and what he was attempting in his career and notice how Picasso and uh, Matisse and Georges Braque uh, pushed this idea to its full full potential and conclusion. We also get some uh, smatterings of erasing underneath and blending and smearing, which also uh, foreshadows de Kooning, William, William de Kooning, um, Dutch-American uh, paint abstract expressionist painter who was certainly um, uh, alive at this, at this time. So the influence is great with Matisse, and we certainly get a little bit different vision of what he was capable of as he evolved his later career. And then a somewhat more uh, academic approach as we see a more representational kind of feel with overlapping, but then a very heavy, harsh, more contour line and a kind of an aggressive approach 
to search out forms uh, as well. So the the movement, the gesture is there. He's a little cruder, if you will, or more crude with the overall stylings of the drawing, but the gesture, and again, this is important, not only the gesture, but also the structure in scale and proportion hold together. There's nothing really out of, out of um, scale here. It all works together both um, holistically as a whole, but then also the parts uh, to one another work really well. So if you want to relax your academic style but yet hold on to structure, this is this is kind of the the drawing for you. It's a very loose, very wispy, but it's got the beautiful S curves and C curves that make the drawing come alive and ring ring true. And that's what certainly Matisse did with his work. One of the giants of the 20th century, Henri Matisse and some of his drawings.